Hello everyone, I am Maheshwar and in this video we will be seeing about the experiment force measurement trainer. So in this experiment our aim is to study the performance characteristics of a strain gauge based load cell in the force measurement trainer kit given to us. Our apparatus consists of a weighing plate, a signal conditioning unit and a digital voltmeter. Now let's see a bit about load cell. A load cell is an electromechanical transducer that can convert force into electrical signals. It can take various types of measurements such as tension, compression, torque, speed, etc. There are various types of load cells namely strain guards, hydraulic, pneumatic and capacitive load cells but in this experiment we mainly concern ourselves with a strain gauge based load cell. Now let's see about the working principle of a strain gauge based load cell. Tension on a strain gauge increases its resistance and compression decreases its resistance. These strain gauges are connected in a Wheatstone bridge which acts as a signal conditioning unit. So here we have a full Wheatstone bridge with four different strain gauges connected to it. We can also use a half Wheatstone bridge with two strain gauges but a full Wheatstone bridge is less prone to errors. Next we will see how to perform our experiment in the lab. So here we have our force measurement trainer kit and now we connect our weighing plate to the Wheatstone bridges as shown and this circuit has an instrumentation amplifier whose output then goes to a digital voltmeter. Now after making the connections we can see that there is some output even when there is no load. So we zero adjust our output. Then we place 1 kg weights on the weighing plates given. And as we can see we have some output which is not 1 and it's 0 0.9 so we use the adder to adjust it to 1. Now we start placing our weights to take down the tearings. We place the weights in an ascending order from 100 grams to 1 kilogram and the display output is set to kgs and now we can observe here an increase in output as we increase the weights. Now we start decreasing the weight in steps of 100 grams again and take down the readings as shown. The observed reading of load in kgs and the digital voltmeter reading of millivolts is given in the table. From the readings in the table, we can observe that as the load on the load cell increases, the voltage developed also increases and vice versa. So in conclusion, we observe a linear trend in both increasing and decreasing cases and not much hysteresis or non-linearity were observed. There are some precautions to follow while doing the experiment. Make sure to use your zero adjust and adder to set your apparatus before starting the experiment and then make sure that the load plate is free of other weight disturbances. Strain gauge based load cells are versatile sensors that are used in a variety of applications across industries. For example, it is used in industrial weighing to measure the weight of goods. It's used in aerospace and defense to measure the force exerted on structures such as aircraft wings, missiles, etc. They are used in robotics to measure the force exerted by robotic arms and grippers. They are also used in the automotive industry to measure the force and torque exerted on vehicle components such as engines and tra transmissions. They are also used in the construction industry and also in other industries such as sports equipment, environmental monitoring, medical devices etc. 